Daddy was overwhelming on many, many levels, good and bad. To him, he was known as Daddy. To the rest of Red Sox Nation, he was known as the Splendid Splinter, a legend. Tonight, Ted Williams' daughter talks only to New Center Five's Phil Lipoff about her difficult childhood and the controversy after his death, Phil. Ed, Claudia Williams has stayed, as you know, relatively quiet over the years since her father's death. But tonight, only on Five, she talks about growing up as Ted Williams' daughter and the very personal decision to have his body frozen in death. She says, before you judge, hear her story. I was sitting somewhere over there the very first time that I saw him come out on the field. It was 1982, the old timers game, and the first time Claudia Williams knew her father was a legend. It was like touching a star. Sitting by the red seat at Fenway, a shrine to her dad's 502 foot record breaking home run, Claudia tells me she was born 11 years after Ted's last at bat. So she knew him as dad, a guy who liked to fish and swear. In fact, if there was a Hall of Fame for swearing, I'd put him in it. In her new book, Ted Williams, My Father, Claudia doesn't sugarcoat much. Her childhood wasn't easy. Ted was gone a lot of the time, and when he was home... Daddy was overwhelming on many, many levels, good and bad. Her older brother, John Henry, got most of Ted's attention, but she was determined to earn his love and respect. I did it through discipline. I did it through sports. I did it through saving my money. Anything and everything that, that a woman had failed... In the eyes of my father, I did just the opposite. As the years went on, the relationship grew stronger, as did Ted's love and support for the Jimmy Fund, something that was hard at times for Claudia and her brother to watch. How can Dad be like that with all these kids? And he wasn't like that with us. Outside Fenway, Claudia looks up at that statue of her dad differently now. She understands her father better, and she wants all of us to understand the decision behind having her dad's body frozen. Ridiculed by so many, the punchline of joke after joke. The Sox legend wasn't even sold at first on cryonics. He thought we were kooky. He uh, teased us about it. But he began asking questions, and according to Claudia, got on board about two years before his death. It was a promise. It was a pact. But it also was a hope that maybe, just maybe, what if? She says with no real religious belief guiding them in death, they just turned to science. As for her father's legacy, she says what he did in life is far more important than what has happened since his death.